Hey everyone. Today we're going to open up a pack of Cons of Tarkir. Now obviously this was real big because the fetch lands that were originally from Onslaught were reprinted. Also have uh, some Plain Walkers, uh, Sarkin, and uh, Soren, and uh, a bunch of fun multicolor stuff. And then the cards um, were printed and sold a lot of Legacy play. The uh, draw three and the uh, like scry eight draw two kind of card. So this this set was uh, important for really every format um, in one way or another. Uh, either decreasing the prices of fetches, which increased the price of other modern cards, um, and then just changed a lot of the decks up with the uh, blue cards and then the replacement for Goblin Guide. So. Uh, so we've got Rush to Battle. It costs four and it's a sorcery combat trick thing, so I'm not really excited about that. We've got Trumpet Blast. Um, this card was really good with the guy who morphs and turns, uh, flips up to give you three goblin guys. Um, so you can do a ton of damage flipping up, giving, getting those goblins, and then playing this. You got a uh, Dragon Scale Boom. I like this card at first. I remember in uh, Limited, but then uh, it ended up not being as good as I thought it was going to be with how much it cost. We got a uh, Molting Snakeskin. It's an enchant creature, so, you know, unless it's like Rank or, or a Bestow mechanic, I'm not really excited about those. Lens of Clarity. You may look at the top part of your library and face down creatures. Not really that hot. You got War beh uh, Behemoth. Yeah, nothing good there. Uh, these, I drafted these uh, lands pretty highly. My first cons of Tarkir draft, I drafted 11 of these coming to play tap lands and ended up running 7 of them on my way to go for, as the uh, only 4-0. Uh, Embodiment of Spring. This card looked really hot before I saw the word Sacrifice. Now it's more of a sideboard against some like, more aggressive decks, but the format is pretty slow. Active Treason. Um... My first couple decks of this format, I played this when I built a um, sort of rug tempo deck. But um, sometimes it didn't even make the cut in my deck, despite playing red, because it just needs to fit with the strategy of your deck and how you think things are going to play out. But, you know, definitely a great card. Siegecraft, it's an enchant creature. Brave the Sands. Um, this card, I may have underrated at first, but I did draft it in my first draft, and... It worked really well in the junk uh, build I did with you know your four four life linkers and, and whatnot. So it definitely underperformed. I was impressed. We've got uh, Briber's Purse. Uh, honestly, I've never read this card before. Uh, and there's counter uh, battlefield with X counters on it. You remove a counter, and target creature can't attack or block this turn. Uh, not awful. We've got uh, we've got Watcher of the Roost. Um, this card I definitely play a lot. Uh, it's nice to just flip up, gain a couple life, and fly over. An Avalanche Tusker. All right, this is not the multicolor card we were looking for, but we all know I was looking for fetch lands. Um, tax for block. Uh, whenever a tax target creature defending player uh, controls blocks this turn of fable, you know what? I think I opened up a rug one time and ended up not even going rug because this card just wasn't powerful enough. So, nothing too special there. Uh, but this uh, I found this to be a very fun, uh, limited format. And everyone likes opening up fetch lands. Probably the uh, most open set in history uh, thus far. But uh, yeah, I recommend if you want to spend a couple bucks. Open up some cons, you can pull some good stuff. Thanks for watching.